For those of you in the wide world of magic that feel like they're already hit with wallet fatigue, let's start talking about spoilers for the very next set. Hello, Planeswalkers, and welcome to this episode of the Oath Breaking News. My name is Chad, and I'm going to be your guide as we talk about a first look at some new cards from Innistrad, Midnight Hunt, and Crimson Vow. So we got an interesting article from Wizards of the Coast on August 5th, 2021, about the new set and its release. It actually starts off with an interesting little story laying out kind of what we're walking into as far as Innistrad goes. So I certainly suggest that you check out that story. I'm going to put a link to this article in the comments below so that you can find it. But if we move down through it, we actually start to see some amazing art. We get like a scarecrow standing in a wide pumpkin patch. It feels like this set from different art I've seen from it so far is going to have an autumn festival feel since this will be releasing October for the one set and the other set a little bit later this year. It feels like this was probably a really good choice flavor wise. It does feel like from what I've seen so far that we are moving from what we had before on Innistrad in the last set, which was Eldritch Horror, maybe back towards Gothic Horror, and I think a lot of people preferred that. I'm a Cthulhu fan, so I'm fine either way, but I am interested to see the shift back. Oh, what I'd like to talk about is uh, just a couple of these cards. I'm probably going to just go through them in the order that they appear in the article. So if you want to check it out, I certainly suggest it. Infernal Gra Grasp is a new removal spell for one in the black. It's an instant. We destroy target creature and we lose two life. Now, in some formats, that's going to be better than others. Uh, in standard, that's going to be great removal because it hits any creature type regardless. The little bit of life loss isn't that big of a deal. In other formats, we still have access to classics like Terror, Diabolic Edict, other sacrifices of effects. Removal spells are just printed on some of our creatures like Shriekma at the same cost. I don't see that it's going to make a lot of waves. I think where it might find a home in decks is decks where you want to pay life because you're either going to switch life totals with somebody else or you're gaining so much life that it is minuscule and not noticeable. Or where you've got a mechanic where you're going to deal damage to the opponents based on how much damage you've taken this turn, like a uh, revenge kind of mechanic. I don't see it as being a signature spell, really. It just feels too niche and it doesn't, it stops being worth it the first time you have to spend commander tax on it. It's really only good for that first cast at that cost. Next card I want to talk about is Play With Fire. It's an instant it costs one red, uh, it deals two damage to any target, and if a player is dealt damage, that's what we scry one. Two damage to any target for one red mana is not as good as a lightning bolt, it never will be. However, to any target means that this could kill uh, planeswalkers with low loyalty. This could kill problematic creatures. This is still a useful card. And that scry shouldn't be looked down on in swarm decks or decks that are trying to play as many cards off the top of the deck as possible. Being able to take your trash off the top and put it on the bottom and draw more gas is always going to be upside. I think this will find a home in some decks. I don't think it's a command zone spell. I don't think it's a signature spell, but somebody might just have to prove me wrong. And if you think I am, let me know below how you would use it. Next, I want to talk about Champion of the Perished. This is a play on words from the, from the card from the last Innistrad sets. Freehead Champion of the Perish. It kind of works the same way. It costs one black mana. It's a 1-1. One, one. Whenever a zombie enters the battlefield under our control, we get to put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. It's very useful. It's really going to only find a home in reanimator decks and zombie tribal, I feel like. It is very close to the ground, though, and it feels like it could become a big beater fast. I'm interested in seeing how many people pick up this rare. I do definitely think in formats that are not Oathbreaker, like Standard and whatever, it's going to see some play, for sure. Next, I want to talk about Join the Dance, which definitely feels like a card that has art. Definitely wants to play up this Harvest Festival vibe. It looks like they're burning a wicker man that's a werewolf, and it's a bunch of humans dancing around. Card embodies that by costing a green and a white and creating two one one human tokens for us, and it flashes back for three of green and white. Again, um, I've seen some great decks run off of these small counter strategies and run in and do stuff with the counters. There's a lot of creatures, or anthems even, that say token creatures you control get blank and blank, usually a power upgrade and something like Vigilance. This will probably find some home index. Again, not a signature spell. Arena release will be September 16th. The pre-release weekend will be the 17th through the 23rd. For those of us on paper, the release date will be September 24th. And there will be a Commander Party event for the Commander release October 30th through 31st, which makes sense with the Halloween theme. 
Looks like we're going to be getting the standard release of products, draft packs, set packs, collector's packs, boosters, pre-release packs, bundles, and there will be two commander decks. The release of Midnight Hunt, which is the first one coming out. The packaging looks amazing. I'm actually kind of excited for this set, despite the fact I may not be able to spend money on it. If you guys have any questions or you think there's something I didn't cover, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the cards we looked at today and this new set that's going to be down our throats real fast. Um, thank you again, and I hope you know that your planeswalker spark lights up my life.